Uh, hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I would like to introduce you to GPS in Slamfilm 4 and I would also like to talk about Sensible Toolbox or STBU which I would like, I prefer to call it because there's some news about it. Anyway, first off uh, GPS in Slamfilm 4. I'm doing this video because GPS is nothing new but a lot of people seem to have trouble understanding how GPS in Slam 4 works. First of all, GPS stands for Global Positioning System and it's a real life thing. Uh, most, of your handy, uh, most of your mobile phones probably have GPS and you can enable and disable that. And it's used to track your position. In Slam 4 it works very very differently because your position is anyway already tracked by the coordinates. Anyway, in Slamfan 4 there's uh, the option to do a lot of stuff which requires GPS such as oil, pumping and teleporting. Uh, the teleporter itself doesn't require GPS itself I think but GPS makes it faster so without GPS you might end up taking a minute to teleport which is very annoying. Anyway, to start off um, there's an entire category dedicated to it. Uh, by the way, I have a lot of add-ons installed, uh, so my guide has already two pages by now, which is absolutely crazy. Anyway, <laughs> to start off with GPS, you need a GPS transmitter. And to understand how transmitters work, they um, add complexity to your network. And the GPS complexity is what defines the power, the strength of your network, how powerful your network is. And the complexity is defined by the Y level of the location of a transmitter. So the higher you place the transmitter, the more complexity it will add to your network. So I would like to give myself some uh, GPS, GPS tools right here, such as uh, the GPS transmitter. The upgraded version, I won't, I won't show you the upgraded version, there's four tiers of, tiers of it and it quadruples the complexity it adds to your network by each tier but it only uh, triples the amount of energy required so it's really really worth it. I will also show you the GPS control panel, the mark tool maybe. Oh no, I won't show you the marker tool. I will maybe explain the rest of it but I won't, I won't go into detail about it. This is mainly just the basic concept of GPS in Slam 4. So yeah, I'm gonna place down a GPS transmitter here and this block is going to do absolutely nothing. As you can see it's um, on the Y level 165 however it won't do anything because it needs power 2 joule per second and conveniently if you look at uh, Slime Fun Falls energy category this normal solar generator powers 4 joule per second and if we use a capacitor as well and an energy re regulator because it's required an energy re regulator is always required if you're dealing with power otherwise your energy network will not work and as you can see it's showing a net loss of 16 joule that's because this guy right here is with demanding power which is not delivered, so we will have a minus number. Done. I didn't want to throw that away. I will give myself a new comp capacitor. And yeah, the solar generator generates 4 joule per second, which is convenient because the transmitter only needs 2 joule per second. And as you know, in Minecraft you have di day and night time. So at day, it will produce 2 joule per second and at night, uh, at day the solar generator will produce 4 joule per second and at night 0 joule per second. But the GPS transmitter will still re demand those 2 joule per second. So it's a perfect combination, one solar generator and one GPS transmitter. If you have a capacitor obviously because you need to store the buffer energy and it will slowly start to increase, uh, you can determine how effective your um, or efficient how you, how efficient your network is. But basically, uh, checking this number, 
anything above zero means you're keeping up. Zero means you're perfectly keeping up. Anything above zero is the buffer in all capacitors, capacitors in your network, which is available. So yeah, you we got a decent buffer right here. Not decent at all, it's small. But anyway, we have a GPS network running right now. So if I place on GPS control panel, which you can use to monitor your network status, you can see that my network is online and my complexity is 165. And as I told earlier, the Y level of this block is 165. So for details, you can hover over this, you will see the world, the coordinates, signal strength and the ping. The ping is just uh, there because it looked kind of empty <laughs> when it wasn't there. It's a, it's a value you can just ignore, it's just uh, there for the sake of having it. <laughs> what have I done? Anyway. Uh, yeah, you can see the GPS transmitter in here. We have a complexity of 165, which is uh, not effective at all. It uh, isn't really going to allow us to do a lot. Because if we uh, want to, for example, um, use an oil pump, uh, we need to GPS, uh, we need to geo scan the chunk first. Now I'm wondering, I didn't see the GPS geo, oh there well, it was, I'm just blind. So we need to GPS geo scan and if we right click it, it will say that we have in, in a, in, 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 God, spelling. insufficient GPS net, we have a, in, we, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we don't have enough complexity and we need a, a min, a min, <laughs> God, I can't speak today. We need a complexity of 600 at least to use this block. So 165 is clearly below 600. So we need to add a lot more um, GPS transmitters. But if we do so, we're going to quickly drain our power. Currently it can keep up because we have a large backlog stored in here. But we would have to add solar more solar generators and we're keeping up again. The higher the number, the better. That's it. So if we look in here now, you can see we have a lot of these and the ping is still the same. Because it's calculated from the complexity. And we have a complexity of 990, which is pretty much. We can now geoscan this uh, chunk and it's now scanned. So we have seen, uh, we have scanned the, the chunk and we can now see that it has 74 buckets of oil stored in it. And yeah, that's 74 buckets of oil. So we can now start pumping that up and retrieve oil. And each, each chunk has its own value, which is determined by the, ch uh, the biome it is in. So I think we're in ocean, yeah. So ocean biomes, sand, uh, desert biomes and so are usually more common to have more oil of a forest or hills and would rather have uh, slightly less oil. So yeah, that's how oil works, that's how GPS works. And as, as I said earlier, the GPS complexity also defines your teleporter speed. So if you have a teleporter running, you will teleport much faster with more complexity. There's still a lot of um, content to be added to the GPS, complex, uh, GPS category, but that's probably for Slimefront 4.1, because Slimefront 4 is pretty much ready to, relieve, to be released. I've sent out uh, five better versions of Slimefront 4 to the winners of the giveaway, and so far I haven't really received any bugs which need to, needed to be fixed, except for one which was just a config issue, I forgot a value in the config, but yeah. So Slamfarm 4 seems pretty stable now and I'm still going to release it on April 15th, 15th, 15th? So everything's going after my plan. And yeah, now about Sensible Toolbox. As you saw, Sensible Toolbox is in the Slamfarm guide here and it's updated for 1.9. So Minecraft version 1.9 and 1.9.2 are compatible with Sensible Toolbox. 
So yeah, I went ahead and updated Sensible Toolbox, however, I was moved the slime fun machines like the nuclear reactor because I added those to slime fun for itself. So those kinda lost uh, their purpose because there's an variant, uh, there's an alternative which does exactly the same, just once on a different power uh, thing. Power, power, power. You know what I mean. Anyway, um, also about power, Sensible Toolbox has its own energy system and so does Slime Fun 4. And yeah, there's uh, currently no conversion between those. However, I plan to add a block to either Slime Fun or Sensible Toolbox, which allows you to convert Sensible Toolbox uh, SCU into Slime Fun's Jewel. So you can. Uh, and vice versa, so you can transform your power into the desired, uh, what's it called, um, I can't, energy thing, uh, measurement unit, unit, measurement unit, there we go. So yeah, you can uh, transform between these measurements, measurement units, and yeah. Another thing about Sensible Toolbox which I wanted to mention, which I've already mentioned on Twitter and Sensible Toolbox plugin page, is the fact that Sensible Toolbox is licensed under GPL version 3. So Sensible Toolbox source is available on GitHub and you can uh, feel free to make comments, you can uh, submit pull requests, so if you want to work on uh, Sensible Toolbox, you can do that already because I'm pretty busy busy right now and I don't have to do all the work myself so if you have a coder in your staff team or if you are coders yourself if you know somebody you can code and you want to keep sensible toolbox alive you may want to tell them to maybe submit a pull request because sensible toolbox is still very unfinished there's a lot of stuff which I need to replace and I just don't have a time for it. So that's why Sensible Toolbox is, is updated so, uh, so irregularly, irregularly, so, uh, so rarely. I can't speak today, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All I, all I want to say is that uh, you can submit pull requests. You don't have to, but if you want to keep Sensible Toolbox alive, I will do updates as, as well, I will contribute to the code of course, but you can contribute yourself. So that's just what I wanted to uh, remind you of and I hope, to, I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time, bye!